Hey guys, get ready with me for school. So here's my outfit. It's just um, leggings from Aerie, and then I have this puffer vest from Old Navy, I think, and then this shirt from like Cedar Point or something. But I'm not gonna like put that this on until like the end. I'll probably end up like putting my hair like back because if you like know how it is like when your hair's down with like a hoodie on and like a big jacket like it just isn't comfortable but today's monday and i had to pull through it i just i really don't want to go to school i hate school so much and i have church night too which i don't want to go to that especially like i don't want to go to that but um i'm like so nervous because i like actually tried hard on a test like I actually studied for a test, and I'm like, yeah, so I think I did pretty well on the test, but if I did, this will be like the first test this year that I've actually passed. I feel like I did really well on that test, and if I didn't do well, I'm going to actually like, I'm going to be so mad. I've been breaking out so bad, like specifically on um, like this side of my face mostly, but it's just like little bumps, I don't know, they've always been there. But like I figured out that like I'm a side sleeper, so like that's why I break out on like one side. And then I do sleep on this side, so whatever. I've had this cough and it will not go away for the life of me. Like I'm not even sick. Like I just have this stupid cough and it's so annoying. Like, I'm not even sick. Like, I don't have a runny nose, a sore throat, or anything, but I still have a stupid cough. The makeup looks pretty good so far. I'm just going to do some highlighter now. I'm going to bring, like, some of my makeup to school to, like, touch it up because I, like, realize, like, I look so bad throughout the day. And, like, I just found out that people see you lopsided. Like, when people look at me, they see me lopsided, and I saw myself lopsided. Oh, my God, it looks so bad. Like, when I'm lopsided, I look so bad like i ugh. my jaw literally dropped i need to get my eyebrows done like really bad they're just really outgrown and stuff i don't know why i look so weird like i don't know something's like off it's 606 and i'm basically ready why do i wake up so early i went to bed like really early mm -mm. <laughs> bro i have so much time to watch young sheldon like, people, like, say, like, it's a stupid, nerdy show, but it's a really good show. Like, stop. I can never decide which Stanley to take to school. Like, I could do white, but I also want, like, a pink one. Like, I want something that stands out. Also, I want this white like, one. Wait, this is cute, too. Just, like, a color that pops out. I don't know. I haven't really bought this one to school in a while, so I'm probably going to do this one. But I just got this one, too. I'm gonna do my other pink one, I don't know. Oh yeah, and for my hair, I'm just gonna leave it natural because I straightened it like yesterday and like two days ago, so it's like fine. Oh yeah, and then some summer Fridays on my lips. I'm really happy about like my hair getting cut because it, it would be like down to here right now. I'm glad it's like not that long. I'm 62 today. Bye guys. Good morning. It's 6.05 in the morning. It's the first day back to school. Let's get ready. Nice and clean. Half of this bottle spilled on the way back from Florida. Dang it. Let's go get a Celsius. I lost one of my socks. Dang it. Today's energy drink of the day is an orange Celsius. That was crispy. POV me after posting a video saying I want to wear my hair naturally. That's embarrassing. Let me finish up this hair. Okay, I finished my hair. Tess is gonna be here in 20 minutes, so let's hurry. I cannot believe we have to go back to school today. I talked about my struggle with school on here, but I do miss the people at school. You know your class friends? That like you never hang out with outside of school, but they're like your friends in a certain class. I literally love those people so much. And I miss my teachers too. Like, they're just so cute. Honestly, I feel like I got some of the best teachers this year. Like, they're the teachers that, like, actually care 
about student and not like the grades, you know? Which like, I feel like those are the teachers that you really need. My best friend, Bailey. I actually wanted to be a teacher for a really long time. I wanted to be a kindergarten teacher, which I still might do. I just haven't really decided. I'm legit already counting down the days till spring break. Like I need another school break already. Everybody comment down below what you want to be when you grow up. Ow, ow, ow. Hey guys, I finished my makeup. Let's go get on my uniform. Wow, y'all, look at this fire fit. <laughs> good Mackie, I wanted to say good morning, but okay. I think it's time to pick out my fun socks. Socks kept on spilling out, so my mom put them all in this big bin. I have to start off the banger, you know? These Fruit Loop ones have been my thing so far. Let's wear these. My gray dunks. Isn't this just adorable? Sometimes I put a little bit of mousse in my hair just to kind of tame them. I'm gonna wear my pink pearl hoops. Okay, Tess should be here, let's go. I switched from my backpack to this tote bag. I think it's so fun. Maggie. Maggie, what are you doing? Hi, Maggie. Bye, Maggie, I love you. Oh, it's so cold out here. Hi, Barry, good morning. Do I need to put my thumb out? Okay. In a horror movie, I doubt it were too slow. All glory to the God of Resurrection. All glory to the. Oh, you don't know you're beautiful. No, that's what makes you beautiful. We're already late for school on the first day. That's okay though. Wait, we have four minutes. We have four minutes to walk across the bridge and get to our class. Walk. Love you guys. Hey guys, you ready with me for school? So as you can tell, these are different heatless curls than I usually do. I wanted to try out these sock curls and I've done them before, but I did it like a different way. It was also a lot more comfortable to sleep in. They're definitely like tighter curls than my other one. You know it was a good sleep when you woke up with like lines all over your face and on your arms. I had such a good sleep. I went to sleep at 10 p.m. last night and today I woke up at 5.30. Did anyone else not have school yesterday because of that huge storm? It was raining the whole entire day. And whenever it's rainy, I'm just like automatically put in like to a gloomy mood. I had three Zoom calls I was supposed to join yesterday, but I only joined the first one and then I went back to sleep. I also woke up to a fat pimple on my forehead. It's like one of those under the skin ones, so I can't even like get rid of it. I haven't used this in so long. Just use it today and I'm going to mix it with my skin tint. It's currently 7.20. Okay, that combo made me so glowy. I really took the first semester as granted because like now during the spring season, there's no like football season. There's no actual break until spring break. I have to like actually lock in so much harder. Okay, I'm starting to get used to waking up earlier. I got in a lot more sleep than I usually do. And it's honestly been going so good. Like I have so much time in the morning. I made myself pancakes this morning. Has anyone else like gone across the mukbang talk? I always see this girl, like her name is Re Reagan, I think. She's always eating like Wingstop or something or Canes. I wanna try Wingstop so bad, but I don't think we have, wait. I don't think I have a wing stop near me. It looks so good. But I've tried Cane's a long time ago and I do not remember what it tastes like. I don't know, I'm just on like food talk right now. Even the strawberry peanut butter and chocolate thing, it looks so good. Also, did anyone know that you can DoorDash Sephora? Somehow my dog hair gets everywhere. I might DoorDash a new concealer. I also rediscovered my telescopic mascara. Okay, I'm starting to run out of time. I also don't want to go to school today. I still haven't fixed my highlighter yet because I always forget when I come back from school. Someone yell at me in the comments and tell me to fix my highlighter. Okay, I have to leave in five minutes. No matter how many lip glosses I have, I always go back to Aquaphor. I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna wear. Okay, I'm thinking I wear these jeans again, but on Wednesdays we wear pink. So I chose two pink sweaters. This is this fuzzy hot pink sweater. The second one is a light pink sweater. Alexa, choose a number between one and two. It's one. Okay, this is the outfit. And then this is the hair. I honestly really like using the socks. Have the best day ever. Bye, I love you guys. Today's theme is red.
Red is the iconic color. Anyways, princess, get ready with me, things I hate. I hate the feeling of throwing up like <laughs> bad mascara days. You know those days when nothing is cooperating with you? I'm stubbing my toe, I'm hitting my elbow, I'm bumping my head. I just hate when people walk slow. Oh my god, guys, someone told me that I look like I could be related to Kai Sinat. What? Uh, I don't see it. But when I saw that comment, I'm telling you, I giggled so hard. Like, I almost fell off my chair. I hate when people just can't get to the point. Like, it takes them a whole month to actually explain what they're trying to tell me. I hate closed tunnel slides. And you know what? Let me tell you why. I have, like, a very traumatic story on why I'm, like, scared of those tunnel slides. So when I was around the age of five, I was at a really big McDonald's playground. And let me tell you, that was a big, like, big McDonald's playground. Okay, so I was going down one of those closed tunnel slides. And I told my cousins, yeah, you guys can come down right after me. I'll yell when I'm done, like, when I'm down. And they're like, okay, yeah, whatever. But then as a little silly joke, like, to scare me or whatever, they go down the slides, like, all of them, like, maybe four of them. I was scared for my life. Mind you, this was at one of my cousin's birthday parties. And around that time, everyone was like, oh, McDonald's is the place to have my birthday. Like, if we go there, I'll be, like, so popular. I was like, cool. But, yeah, we're going down that slide, and all my cousins are going down right behind me. And some of my cousins there were, like, a bit more older than me. So I was, like, like really small at that time when I was five. And so they were all coming down and we all just crashed together. And I felt this really, really, really sharp pain, like, in my teeth. The two front ones, to be specific. So I'm running to my mum and my aunties and I'm like, my mouth is open and I'm crying, like, gushing down tears. And then in my language, they're like, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's so bad. All the aunties were, like, in shock. And I was like, what's going on? Like, what happened? I'm, I'm still crying. And then we go to the bathrooms and guess what? What? They knocked off one of my front teeth. So we went back to the playground, I went to go find the tooth, and the thing that made me happier was when my mom said, oh, the tooth fairy is going to come, like, you're going to get money. And your girl loved that money. So I was like... <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that was like a little random story. I hate when people say, not trying to be rude, but stop right there, because now I know what you're going to say is going to be rude, so just don't say it. Yeah, okay, I just did my eyebrows. Now it's time for lippy liner. Now it's time for lippy bobby. Matches my outfit. I hate when one of my charges are broken. So then I have to fiddle around with the charger so then it actually charges my phone. And it's that one certain position, like, you have to, like, do this and then sit there until it's charged. I hate when people think everything's about them. Like, girl, I don't even know who you are to be for real. I hate those type of friends that could be talking bad about someone and then become all bestie-bestie with them the next day. Like, girl, don't be, don't be acting like you was not just talking about them. Also, guys, I'm thinking about doing a Q&A video. So leave some questions that you have in my comments so then I can reply to them for tomorrow's get ready with me also i just use this lip stain as blush and i don't know if you could really tell because you know your girls your girls a bit dark dark like chocolate anyways i love you guys so much don't forget to comment bye princess get ready with me for school i swear there's always something about wednesdays that just makes me so happy probably because it's at the end of the week and also our school has half days oh yeah yesterday we won our game we actually lost the first time we played them in our tournament for our holiday tournament but this time we won but yesterday i feel like i was playing a little too rough because i accidentally flung a girl from the ball it was a jump ball if you don't know what that is look it up but they called it like super late like i swear the refs always want like something to go down this combo is chef's kiss like it's amazing look at my skates one thing i'm not excited about Wednesdays is that i have apt for basketball and i don't like weightlifting i just hate it Guys, this is sunscreen, not whipped cream. This song is so good. Like, I sing it every morning. I just got this with my Christmas money. Look at that. Look how smooth that is. This is amazing. This is the Charlotte Tilbury powder. It's amazing. This right here, best eyeliner ever. Like, look at that pigment. I am absolutely obsessed with these elf blushes. Like, look at that. That color is so pretty. This is my combo for today. This smells amazing. Ariana really did her thing. You guys also know that this is my favorite. Like, this is a 10 out of 10 would recommend. Look how perfect this gloss goes with my makeup and also my outfit. Like, it looks amazing. I just realized I got something on my sweatshirt. Oh my god. But anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. Love you so much. Bye. Y'all, I'm super late, but I did heatless curls yesterday. Because I wanted to not put heat on my hair until my birthday. And I'm sick. <laughs>
anyways, we're gonna take them out and see how they look. How they're looking. Please don't be ugly because I'm genuinely very late. I haven't even done my makeup. Washed my hair last night after work and then I let it dry before I did this. I just know I'm not gonna like it. My hair smells real good. Hell no. Oh, oh. This is bad. I forgot why I didn't do these. Now I remember. Mm -mm. Let me just do my makeup. Anyways, y'all. Um, I'm, I'm not in a good mood. I don't know why. I was crying on break yesterday. Like a weak ass bitch. And I ruined my makeup. But I was wearing glasses. So I was like, I'm fine. But I really wasn't fine. But I was fine. Um, and I had to take a shit this morning. Which made me late. So. Um, that's why we're here. Okay, and that's all that's gonna get done. Mm. You know what, bitch? I'm just gonna thug it out. Bye. This is where I got it. <sighs> Normally, I would just put heat on it to fix it, but I can't. Look at you, bitch. I just don't want to. And I gotta leave in two minutes, so. Don't do heatless girls, bitch. It's a waste of time. Okay. <gasps> Alexa, what temperature is it right now? Right now, it's minus one degrees Celsius. Minus one. Minus one. Get ready with me for school, guys. It should actually be illegal to go in this weather in school. Like, I don't want to go. No, because why am I going to school in minus degree weather and I'm going to have to line up in the cold? We are going to have to line up in the cold for 20 to 30 minutes because that is what it feels like. And I know I'm going to see one person in a skirt and socks or probably no socks at all. I don't know what is going through their head because there is literally no way I would go out in that minus one degree weather with no sort of thing covering my legs. I generally just want summer to come because one, it's warm and two, my skin will just be glowing and actually clear up because this winter is doing my skin dirty. And to make matters even worse, guys, to make matters even worse my phone was not charging for the whole night and i'm actually so upset because now i'm running off of like 20 percent of battery and it's not looking good also guys if you've made it this far throughout the video please comment down last suggestions because i want to know what mascara to get today guys my hair has finally marinated it's not stiff anymore thank the lord now i need to stick on some lashes because your girl is bold like an egg lashes on I'm kind of in a good mood today. I don't know why. Like, I, it's closer to Friday, so I'm in a good mood. 
now for a lip gloss because your lips cannot be dry like they can't be rusty dusty crusty and most certainly not musty and that is it bye y'all get ready with me while i tell you about this whole 10 to 12 year old sephora girls most of the videos i've been seeing are adults bashing little girls because they want to be trendy and popular I've also seen that they've been like mean to the workers and just like destroying the products and stuff. So all I have to say is never once have I ever seen that in my life. I'm a teenager as well and I like to go into Sephora and I've never ever had a problem with mean girls at Sephora and disrespecting the workers. I've never ever seen that. I just feel like if these teens want to go to Sephora, including myself, they should be able to without getting hated on. There is not a certain age that you have to be to go to Sephora. I know maybe some of the products teens are buying can be a little much. Who cares? They're teens. They're living their lives. If their parents spend money on them for makeup or they let their kids buy it, so be it. Why do other adults have to put kids down? Other adults. Because I know all of those adults were teens before once in their lifetime and I know they've definitely thought about wanting to do what adults or older teenagers would want to do. And if an adult ever tries to tell you guys that makeup is not for teens, they are lying. All of these products right here are makeup from Frillian, specifically made for teens. It's kind of like if an adult were to use this, we would be bashing them and how would they feel? That's just what I try to put it as, but this is specifically made for teenagers. You can get it at your local CVS, your local Walmart, or online at Frillians.com. Okay, the blush is on right now, but I just feel like why do adults have to bully teenagers for what they want to do? They're excited to try new products and be on trend. And I feel if you're so, so triggered about it, why shop in Sephora? I just feel like if you're going to hate on these kids for shopping at Sephora, why are you there? We're not, you're not just going to push the little kids away for these adults to be in there like there's so many other options you can go to Ulta I know a lot of teens don't really go there um what else there's just so many other places you can get makeup from and when do you ever catch a teen making fun of adults from shopping at Sephora so I don't really see why adults should be making fun of little kids for wanting makeup you guys could even think I'm annoying for this but I really don't care because this is my own personal opinion on what I believe and you can always shop Sephora online. Like, you don't have to physically be there. And you teens, I definitely suggest if you guys could go check out Frillian's because it is one of the best, me personally, makeup brands I've ever tried, specifically made for teens. Okay, I'm going to touch up my makeup, but no way was I trying to hurt anyone's feelings. Bye, guys.